Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about how bananas led to a coup. Now, I know that what I just said doesn't really make sense, but bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to take you back first to 1954, Guatemala. The first democratically elected president of Guatemala, Jacobo Arbenz, is being overthrown by rebels. With the help of the CIA, the US government, and a big monopoly corporation, United Fruit Company. The excuse as to why he's being overthrown is because he's a communist. Now, the story behind the scandal is quite interesting. The corporation, United Fruit Company, had landed in Guatemala a couple decades earlier before the coup. And let's just say that they didn't treat the workers the best way. They used to give them vouchers for pay instead of actual money, and then the vouchers would only be used in the plantation stores. Therefore, they couldn't use it like regular money. This obviously led to a lot of revolt and unrest, but the government, bribed by the company, would shut down these revolts aggressively. The government itself was pretty disappointing. Essentially, after Spain left and Guatemala was no longer a colony, a corrupt series of politicians took over. This was mostly because of the small, white elite left over of the Spanish rule. And this elite controlled politics and the economy. So when United Fruit enters Guatemala, Guatemala is in a very burnable state. And a dictator, I think his name was Manuel Estrada? He was at the time in power. He was like kind of wacky, he used to be very cruel, a little too aggressive, and he used to build like Roman temples in Guatemala. So of course, United Fruit Company had an easy way bribing the government, buying land for cheap prices and avoiding a lot of taxes. So as I said before, United Fruit Company was very powerful in Guatemala. And then if we fast forward to the coup, Jacobo Arbenz was trying to do this land reform. And the land reform essentially was going to give land to peasants. Now this land reform was not his original idea. Ironically enough, the idea came from the United States. United States had used a similar reform in Japan right after World War II. And the goal of this reform was to create a middle class for a wealthier economy. The way the reform worked was to confiscate unused land by corporations. This included United Fruit Company. So then, United Fruit Company walked its little tiny legs back to the United States government knocked on the Secretary of State's door right during the Cold War and was like, hey look, over there in Guatemala where I own land and I mistreat my workers, yeah, over there, they're trying to do a land reform and they're gonna take my land. And even though it's perfect for their economy, I want you to go over there, send a couple CIA agents and just, you know, overthrow the president. And then the Secretary of State was like, say no more, let me throw in a couple media outlets, tell them that the Red Scare is coming to Central America will convince the president that Guatemala is going to become a major player on the communist invasion. So then the coup happened and then a bunch of like military guys took over the government. Guatemala fell into 30 years of civil war. Until this day, very few people know that all of this happened because Americans wanted bananas. Cheap bananas. Well, that's all the historical tea I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Bye!